Today, we gather to celebrate the progress we've made in empowering women and to reflect on the critical issues that still require our attention. I also would like to congratulate you with International Women's Day. As I mentioned today, it, it is always a very special day and it has grown in importance because nowadays all over the world the International Women's Day is recognized. I strongly believe that, that women are foundational to uh, not only to a an happy and healthy uh, family, but they're actually foundational to a happy community and with that community to a happy and healthy society. That Thailand is full of empowered women who have, along with men and other genders, moved our country forward in all areas. Family planning is not just about birth control, but how to plan the life of a family all together. At the government level, we could enhance medical professional and patient communication policy and legislative changes, community education, as well as expansion of access to contraceptives and other family planning tools. Thank you so much. Today we should all see and recognize the barrier-breaking accomplishments of these women. All of us. This day gives us a chance to recognize, remember, reinforce, and celebrate their accomplishments and to commit to protecting the rights of women and always moving forward together as partners. How can we do better? How can I do better? A big part of this is listening. We are very proud to be the only global healthcare company of our size with a clear focus on women's health and a vision to create a better and healthier every day for every woman. We're excited to announce the launch of our first annual Her Promise Global Grants program, which provides resources to community-based organizations working to help women and girls take control of their reproductive health. By working together, we can help more women and girls achieve their promise, building a more sustainable future for women, girls, and for Thailand. I felt very privileged to have been given the opportunity to join in this prestigious gathering of the young school leavers entering the world of work for the first time, who have to leave their home into a new community, new cultures. They may not be adequately prepared to cope with all the drastic changes that will be occurring in their life and often result in adverse consequences such as unwanted pregnancy and unsafe abortion. This project aims to empower young, vulnerable women in Thailand to take control of their lives, make informed decisions about their future, and achieve their full potential. So the goal of this program is that young, vulnerable women in Thailand are empowered to improve their lives through smart family life planning. So with the births that we have, we do need to make sure that they're quality births, meaning that they have a well-supported family, a good education, and good opportunities for the future to contribute to society. Knowledge, technologies, and skills necessary for a better future. Um, Keenan, very importantly, we want to make sure this is a a model that is well documented and measured so we can show the success. Uh, so we're working a lot on uh, monitoring and evaluation as well as uh, policy recommendations that we can submit and discuss with other key stakeholders moving forward. So basically in order to inspire people, I think we have to start talking about what we see as a pain, what we see as in gaps, what we see as what to do and we actually get it done. We never actually talking about their rights their equity and their equality. As much as we talk about responsibilities, we can just keep saying that if the community is strong, everything would be good. I disagree. Community has to be strong. Women has to be support. And we have to understand what is actually the gaps and what we can provide and strengthen them.